Toronto from the studio of Worship Media. On this, uh, on this thing, this is from FaceTime. All these things are wind. I don't use wind anymore. Mm. These are from FaceTime. So hi everybody. Um, thank you for uh, tuning in from wherever you're watching. My name is Chidi Mayamu. I am um, a Christian. I am um, the president of the Nigerian Canadian Association in Toronto, Canada here. I am also the owner of Worship Media and by the grace of God, the CEO of My Roots Foundation. I have uh, with me here today um, <laughs> a personality that a lot of you know and a lot of you are going to be hearing much about her. She's someone that is highly respected here in Canada. Uh, she's a blogger and um, she's going to be helping me today to be able to discuss what we want to discuss and to be able to welcome uh, the special guest that I have in my midst. I want to introduce to you Katia Bellino. Katia, you're welcome. Thank you so much. You've already done all your introduction. My <laughs> name is Katia Bellino. Yeah. I'm a blogger here in Toronto, a Nigerian as well. Katia, K-A-R-T-I-A. -A. I have Italian name, but I'm Nigerian. <laughs> okay. Thank you for having me in the studio today, Chidi. You're welcome, Katia. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why I have Katia on this program today is that there's a lot of people out there, but you want to work with people who have been tested, who have credibility, so that what they say, they have objectivity when they analyze stuff. That's why I want to have Katia with me. And then, finally, I have the singular pleasure and the honor of uh, welcoming in our studio today as someone who has uh, become a celebrity, I would say <laughs> that. Um, I want to introduce to you uh, our sister and, and uh, a, a real Torontonian yes. and the person of... Uh, um, a musician? Oh yeah, she's a, she's a musician, she's an artist and I'm talking about uh, Stephanie Otobo. Yeah. Stephanie, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank okay. you. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay. Now, um, the reason we thought it uh, wise to bring uh, Stephanie on the studio, and uh, I, I'd just like to say something before we continue. I, um, I, I've been following the story, uh, uh, of you, you guys know what's out there on the social media, but when I, I've been following the story, but I, and I did some videos already about uh, the story online, but then I, it caught my attention when I saw a video by Stephanie that she was in Toronto. I was excited. I'm like, really? She's she's back in Toronto because we were afraid of we were afraid for her with the way things were going. A lot of people were concerned. What's happening to her we'll back in Nigeria? Is she going to be able to make it back to Toronto? So when I saw the video that she was in Toronto, I became interested. I wanted to talk with her. And um, you know, I wanted to relate with her, so I called her lawyer, uh, Barista Keyamo. Keyamo, and then I spoke with Keyamo, and I said I would like to get in touch with um, Stephanie, and Keyamo made it possible for two of us to connect, and we arranged a meeting. And today, uh, I wasn't sure it was going to happen, but uh, eventually it's happened. So I'm very happy that it happened. Today we're going to be trying to 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 make you guys. Uh, feel us, feel us. We are Toronto people. This is our place. We are, we are Nigerian Canadians, so we have dual nationality. We are Nigerians, but then we are Canadians. And uh, we want to be able to show you Canada from the perspective of Nigerians who are living here. You know, just disabuse your mind about certain things you're hearing out there. So, uh, without wasting so much of your time, we're just going to go into, we're just going to discuss, we're just going to talk about things and then um, just try to be able to let you guys see the story from our own perspective. Warning though, we're not out here to judge anybody, we're not out here to get sensational, we're going to try to keep it as civil as possible, but we we'll just try to be very objective. Like I told you, I'm a, I'm a Christian and um, 
and uh, we all here are Christians okay so that's the most I can say now at, uh, at Stephanie's request I am going to pray before we continue this interview okay so I'll just like you to um, bear with me I'm gonna pray so we're just gonna bow our heads and then say a short prayer in Jesus name Amen. Heavenly Father I thank you for this time in your, in your, in your presence because wherever two or three are gathered you are there mm -hmm. Father we know that you are here in our midst and Father we just want to yield to your direction yes. Lord we ask that you come and be in our midst I know a lot of people there don't think that uh, that one is Christian enough and they have their their, 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 their their judgments about people but Lord God we do not focus on that yes. because we know that you know the mind of people you know the innermost desires and the, and what people are thinking inside you are the one that we are yielded to you are the one that we are focused on and so Father we ask that you come and be in our midst and you help us in our deliberation help us to be able to discuss just like ordinary human beings who are equal in your presence Holy Spirit we invite you to take absolute control Satan I bind you I bind any kind of uh, machinations any kind of manipulations Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. Father take control Amen. have your way in our discussion Amen. in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen, Amen. okay so um you're a Christian, right? Yes, I am. Uh, for sure? Yes. Okay, good. I did, I did establish that. Yeah. Um, so, I'll say again, welcome back. Welcome back. We are, we are happy that you're here. We sincerely, from our heart of heart, um, when I heard that you live in Toronto, um, and this is one of the things that really uh, makes me interested and led me to 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 fight to become the president of Nigerian Canadian station here is that I have a passion for you know rooting for Nigerians here. So when I heard that you're Canadian, I'm like you know whenever you're here, we're gonna welcome you back. We're gonna make you feel at home. So um, I'm gonna let Katia Valino welcome you and let you feel at home. You know, I just want you to know that you're Hello, Stephanie. Hi. I'm so super excited that you are here. When Chidi called me to tell me that. He connected with you. You know what? Uh, I thought it was a dream. Wow. Because when I saw all the controversy on the social media, in, I wrote about it in my blog as well. Yeah, right. And then I called him as a Nigerian Canadian president, right? Mm -hmm. So I said, Chidi, what's going on? This is our girl. I am always there for women, women empowerment. Mm -hmm. So I believe that it doesn't matter if. If you're dying or if you're alive everybody every woman have their own right yes. so people are judging from their own angle from their own perspective, perspective. but today we want to hear from you mm -hmm. so I'd like for you to introduce yourself to, to the audience who are looking right now before okay. we even proceed thank you very much the pleasure <laughs> is all mine hi everybody my name is Stephanie Otobo I live here, I'm Nigerian, but I live in Canada, so I'm Nigerian-Canadian, and um, I'm a musician. I do um, secular music, Afro-pop, to be precise. And I went to school, I went to Humber College, I finished Humber College 2013, and I furthered more into York University, and that is what I'm still doing right now, doing my education, and singing at the side. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so Stephanie, we've welcomed you. You're a Torontonian. I just want you to know that you are in your city. It doesn't matter what is going on. You are in Toronto. And then um, I would just want to give you an opportunity to just... Because in Nigeria, you know, you wonder a lot of stress. There was a security thing, the whole Bola Bola was doing. And then, then uh, I heard you were in prison, yeah. you were at uh, Kirikiri. Yeah, oh my goodness, I can imagine uh, what that experience was. But you know what? Crazy. In your own words, in a relaxed mood, you are now in Toronto. Just what, what happened? Like, what exactly happened? You know, just in your own simple words, you know, how you would just tell your your friend, your people. Tell us what happened. 
So, um, I got in contact with my friend on BBM. This was 2015, like April 2015. So I contacted her, she just got married. Okay. So I was like, how did you believe this guy was your own? You know, those kind of women. Women problem. talk, yeah. yes, yes. So I was like, how did you trust and went ahead with the marriage and everything? She was like, oh, there was this pastor that the man of God sees vision, he can tell you anything. If you can just test, text him, he'll tell you, he'll reply you. I'm like, really? Okay, can you pass me the number? So she did pass me his number. I didn't text him for a while because I knew he was coming for a program here in Toronto. In Toronto? Yes. Okay. And I was even in Vancouver. So and I this was when? This was um, between April, May 2015. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. So I went to I, I went to Vancouver, and um, I came, I flew in for the program. program. It was three days program. I flew in on that day. I came and I stayed after the program. I went back because I do visit Vancouver here and there. Yeah. So I texted him. I'm like, Hi, sir. Blah blah blah. I have this person name. My name is blah blah blah. I just want to because my friend told me he would just tell me. So yeah. I'm like, okay, my name is this, his name is this. So after I texted him, blah, 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 he asked for my mom, my uh, BBM pin. I sent it to him. He didn't even say anything about the counseling, what I came for. He just started telling me how he likes me and he's embarrassed about it. So I'm like, really? That's on, on a text. About BBM. Oh, BBM. See yeah, your yeah, picture yeah. on the BBM. Yeah, okay. he asked for my pin and he asked me to send him pictures. Okay. So I sent him like three different pictures. So he was like, oh, he doesn't want to tell me something that he's embarrassed. He's, he likes me. So I'm like, okay. I was confused. And I'm like, ex I asked him to explain. I'm like, what, what do you mean? Is it like father, daughter, kind of like? So I called him daddy, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. So he was like, oh, what I mean is don't even look at me like that. I'm not like that. Because I'm a pastor doesn't mean I don't have feelings. I have feelings. I'm like, okay, so what kind of feelings do you have? It says um, he had a girlfriend before that they broke up now. So he needs another girlfriend. I said, why? What about your wife? I know you're married. It says, um, the marriage is not really that strong anymore that they are not both of them are not in love that he's trying to get rid of her but he doesn't want to just do it because of his personality that his gradual process they they suffer together blah 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 that the whole world is gonna come on him if he does that kind of thing that i said oh really he said yeah that me, me and he could have something then with the process when we're really strong he can actually say to the world that he has moved on and said to her he told me all of this that wasn't the first day though but like conver Gradual, continual yeah. conversation mm -hmm. because i had to understand why he's saying he likes me so he just started talking about money that he could just send me six thousand dollars right away i'm like are you serious so i i got distracted from the whole thing the whole girlfriend thing so then we went on money <laughs> so, I like about, that money talks, yeah, right? He started talking about mm -hmm. money, and I'm like, really? Wow! I said, okay, I dared him. He sent me six thousand dollars right away. He sent it to someone called Ulubinga. He put it in the person's Nigerian account because they do money transfers here in Toronto. Yeah, here in Toronto. Okay. So he put it in his in his account. To give me dollars. So Lubenga is uh, here in, in, yeah, in Toronto. Yeah, here in Benjamin. Yeah, oh. Benjamin or Lubenga. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here in Toronto, in um, is it um, Edistone, Oakville. Okay. 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 You know, there's a Oakville at the back of Edistone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So he has an office there. So he sent him money. And this guy gave me six thousand dollars here. I was so happy. Sir, is it after he finishes, sir? He's three days of was it three days or one week convention here? He had three days convention and well he already finished it and gone back. Okay. No, it was after long after that. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. It was like a week. Sorry. It okay. was like 
couple of days a week. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, I just left. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you come see me? Mm -hmm. I said, well, I knew a lot of people would want to see you. There was no point. If this issue is not that big. I just, they told me I could just tell you my name and you could just tell me everything. So he said, oh, I like that. I like that. You didn't, you weren't desperate to see me. I said, yeah, I didn't want to talk to see. I just wanted to talk. So he said, okay. He, he even asked me if I wanted to eat. He said, I could just come back because of you right now. And I'm like, what? You just left here. What about your wife? He said, I know his wife came with him that time. Mm -hmm. But he could come by himself without okay, his wife. Okay, he wants to leave the wife back to, in Nigeria, Nigeria and then come, come back. back. Yeah, okay. back by himself. Okay. So I'm like, no, you couldn't do that. And I said, okay, um, in a week or in two weeks there about, or three weeks, I can't remember how long, how, how far. So he's going to be in Europe, um, Italy to be precise, Napoli. So he said that um, he would want me to meet him then. So I said, yeah, I've never been to Europe before, why not? So after he sent me six, six grand in dollar, so that it was like two weeks after, he sent me another six thousand to get tickets. He hasn't even seen you. No. And who, what's the name of this man of God again? Because Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Because I didn't get the name very. I uh, just wanted to make sure it's the same. Apostle, Apostle Johnson, Johnson Suleiman. Suleiman. Okay and. Based in Lagos, Nigeria. It is in the Aluchi. Oh, so the church is but in yeah, Aluchi. He has the branches. branches. Okay, okay. He so he's, branch, he's based yeah. in Aluchi. Okay. He has okay. a branch in Lagos, in Abuja. Okay. He has branches in Okay. He has three branches here in Toronto. Oh, really? According to him, yeah, yeah, I've only had one. I've only been yeah, to one. What, what happened was actually I tried to. to I, call, I call the church. I called the church because I wanted to also reach out. I, I'm, I like to balance things out. Mm -hmm. I called the church and the, someone answered and they said, I really would want to have uh, a meeting with them since all this controversy started. And then um, actually they said they'll be able to meet with me. It was on Friday, but I, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I was busy. I got carried away. So okay. I'm still hoping to be able to talk to someone in the church. Yeah, okay. but I don't want to. Okay, story. so go ahead to yeah. uh, Italy. So, yeah, he invited me over. So I went, I traveled, I went to meet him. I flew to Germany. From Germany, I took another flight straight to Italy, Napoli. I got there. I went, to, he tried to make me get a hotel, a different hotel that apart from his own, but I couldn't. We were all booked. I went to different places. So I told him, I, I was tired because I just flew all the way and I can't be going around looking for hotels. Then he said, okay, I had to sleep in his hotel that day because he said um, his workers, he doesn't want his, his workers to know I was there. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, I understand. But so um, he already called, checked on another walkable distance hotel from mm -hmm. where he was that they said they will have a place the next day. Okay. So he was like, okay. Um, I slept there with him that night. So like when I met him, I like the way he, we took off, you know, I thought it was real. I wouldn't even doubt him after he said him, him and his wife were not together anymore and he couldn't just bring it out, you know. He acted like he, he was like single and he was really ready to mingle. So I believed he was a man of God, so if a man of God says he was right, I mean, who was I to say no? I believed him. I, w I thought he was so close to God and we should learn from them, you mm -hmm. know? So I trusted him. Can I, can I ask you a question at this point in time? Yeah. Um, because I, I'm, I'm just, um, I don't have any particular, you know, interest in like, uh, I mean, this happened between you and him, okay? So I respect that two of you are adults, okay? I'm just... But the question which should just be on the minds of just anybody listening to or, or, or this video. Yeah, this video will be, do you remember this hotel that you guys stayed in, in, in Napoli? Yeah. Um, I took a picture at the front and it could tell me, my phone could tell me the place. Oh, okay. oh you actually, yeah. So you took a picture, you took a picture at the hotel yeah. in Napoli, in Italy. Yeah. And, and you have it on your phone? This, yeah, when I went to, this is when I went to the mall and mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this is the front of the hotel, Qualiano. This is the front of the hotel, yes. Hotel Qualiano. I don't know if the hotel name is Qualiano, but, okay, but is, this is the location. If you can get okay. to Qualiano, it's the okay. hotel. There's a hotel opposite the trees that you're seeing okay. right there. Okay. Okay. It's just on the other side. Okay, so this is where you two spend the first night. No, the I, it couldn't. I didn't take a. Yeah, I took a picture in this hotel. Let me see if my phone is going to turn because it, when it gave me eight thousand euro, I took a picture with it. Just that we take a little time. It's okay. Um, yeah, I want to see if he, he could tell me. Because one, 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 while you're looking at that, you see, one thing I, I need I need us to know is... You see, people... I, I, like, I like to establish the fact that people are just... Sometimes people are telling a story that, that sounds so unbelievable, okay? But when you begin to ask some questions that are just simple questions, they are just simple things that you ask someone, that's what we're doing. So when someone says they, were, they went to a place and then they remember they took a picture and then their phone is talking about the location, you know, just these are the kind mm -hmm. of things that you want to, you, to you want, put it out there. Yeah, you want to put out there because. A lot of people in Nigeria who have been against my videos when I try when I talk about being objective, this is what I'm talking about. It's this thing. Okay, guys. Um, I just you know I like I like to just get facts. A lot of you, a lot of guys said um, this picture was photoshopped. It's not in some in her phone. Well, this is actually from her phone. This is the the actual uh, Snapchat. Uh, uh, FaceTime. The FaceTime, okay, and uh, you can see the date on it. Let me try to zoom into the date. It's, okay, yeah, 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 I got the date now. This is wind. Uh, wind is a network here in Canada, and this was taken at 1:48 1 p.m. PM on. Um, Let me see if anyone has a date. Okay. Yeah. This one has a date. 2016. Okay, so this is uh, so 2016. Uh, tenth month. Yeah, yeah. So you guys can see it very clearly, and these are different pictures. Please, it's not. And then uh, I'm actually here with Stephanie, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to show you her face, so you guys know it's for real, okay? And I'm going to show you my face, so you know I'm the one taking the picture, okay? So what are we trying to do? We're just trying to let you know that um, uh, I, I like to be objective with things, okay? Like I had told you before, it was not Photoshop. This is something actually on somebody's phone, okay? All right. You know, and it's already out there. It's public. I didn't make it public. Katia Valino didn't make it public. It's already out there. If I don't talk about it, every other person is going to... Somebody else will talk about it. But I'm more interested in giving people a voice, you know, giving people a chance to just tell their own story. You know, you any other person can always tell their own story from from wherever. And I think you know, the good thing, yeah, yeah, I think the good thing about this thing is that they will be able to figure out when he went to crusade in Italy mm -hmm. to match with the date of the picture on this phone because phone don't lie, technology they date, don't lie. They have yeah, date stamps. They have date stamps on the pictures and stuff like that. Exactly. So his church or whenever this case comes to court or wherever it's going to get to, they'll be able to place out the place where he went for the convention and the picture that is here. But you know what? I, I, we're, we're, we're not in court anyway. No, no, we're no. just talking generally. I, I tell, you see, that's, that's what I keep telling people. I keep yeah. telling people that what I prefer to see is like I, I like to see someone prove these things, prove otherwise. Because if 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 she's bringing out evidence and I mean she's right here, I'm looking at her phone. Even if you say they they planted the story and it was all manipulated, it could be true. I'm I'm, I'm not there. I'm not defending her. I'm not defending anybody. But you want to to be able to. If I was like. These things are places that are existing. The hotel is there. These locations are there. So someone can always go there and say, Oh my goodness, look at this picture. It wasn't taken there. Or, no, at this period in time, the, uh, uh, the man wasn't even there. Mm -hmm. so, but nobody's saying that. I'm not hearing anybody say, We don't say, oh, No, no, it's a lie. No, 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 it was all made up. 
and uh, no no we shouldn't be talking about it but like and nobody i remember one guy one guy is uh he's a liberian he said he's based in ghana i was doing a video he said he told me he said he said you were paid they paid you money my brother nobody paid me nothing and in canada we are comfortable i am comfortable my contractor it's comfortable you should you should look at this kind of you see here we don't need to be paid that you don't need to be paid we life the here, truth, it, yeah. it, we it just is good. here we're it. just after simple truth the, the truth will come out yeah it will come out one day it's all about the freedom yeah we're, we're all human beings we're human beings maybe, don't matter in, some, how, how maybe in some countries are. They don't have the kind of freedoms that we have here. Yeah, in but Canada. fortunately for us, we're here where everybody have their own freedom. Everybody of has speech, a say. Of, of, of movement, of, of any sort. Nobody is against the law. Yeah. And, and let me tell you something. I'm being Nigerians. So we're here right. for one another. We're yeah. here to see how we can make this story for the people in Canada, for the Canadians, for the legislatures yeah, you know, to, to know about this story because people in Nigeria, they all know exactly, this story. Exactly. But Stephanie is a Canadian, so the people in Canada, the Canadians, the people that make the law, the people that we all live under, they need to get this story well, one thing I want to, to say, them Katia, as well. Katia, one thing I want to say is this. You see, um, as a Canadian, it's important that we we be able to tell this story from the Canadian perspective, okay? Yeah. Stephanie was in Nigeria, all this was happening, you know, people had different um, views. views about what was going on and what they think was happening and people became diabolic and people said how... Very they, judgmental. They, they, they said she was a demon. They said, they said, they said it, all they needed to all they needed to do was he pray. To tell us our story. Was pray was pray. Are, are you ready? I'm, I'm just using this time to, to let her That's okay. to get whatever. But we're gonna, okay. we're gonna look at the pictures later. Later, but people say that they're she's demonic, the and they thought that if you prayed around her, she will scatter. She will. She, 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 she will she, turn she, into, she will into, into bread. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a minister out in Nigeria. I was trained by Pastor Sarah Omako in Family Worship Center. Okay, so I I I, I am a born again Christian. I know what I'm talking about. So it's not something that um you I, I, we've prayed, and that's why we had to pray. We had to let you know that you will need to start taking people for who they are. Do I endorse what she did or what she did not do? It's not for me. I don't judge her. They're adults, she's an adult. Whatever she did with anybody, they're answerable to it. But it's just that we need to start taking people just as normal human beings with with, with a right to, 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 to freedom of speech, freedom of existence, and, and freedom of association. That's what we enjoy here in Canada. And that's what we're putting out there to the world. Okay, I think we're gonna have to... I have no, to no, that's okay, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead and keep telling the story. No, yeah, no, that's okay, that's a lot of pictures. We're not in the court. We're not in court. Yeah, yeah, we're just talking. When you start for evidence, you guys can Yeah, we're not in court. When he gave me a thousand euro, I took a picture with it and I almost posted it. But then I said, oh, I don't want eyes to be on me. He was like, post it. I'm like, people are going oh, to you ask took, you. You took a picture of a thousand euro? It, yeah, in this thousand. Eight thousand. thousand. Like, in, in where, this hotel. Is, where is part? Like, the whole money? Like, the bundle of the I money. I hold the money. You have the money. It wasn't that, um, it was like uh, one thousand, mostly a thousand. Uh, okay. Thousand, yeah. thousand. Yeah, okay, because I, I think thousand. they have like uh, eight. Thousand, okay. Thousand, mm -hmm. thousand euro okay. notes. Yeah. So. Okay. okay. So I took a picture. I was sitting in this hotel. So I'm sure my picture will show. Yeah, I'll have to be patient to get it. No. That's okay, like no, we said in the beginning, no, 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 no. we're not even if you show it to two or two of us will see it, but the audience will not see yeah, that. Well, what what's gonna happen is uh Katia Valino is a blogger and then she has You have a, to forward me the yeah, picture. She's oh, agreed, yeah, she's agreed she's agreed to do this uh yes. she's agreed to do this story. I really appreciate sorry, sorry. <laughs> appreciate uh KV you're really um um agreeing to be part of this. So uh, KV would would relate with uh, Stephanie yeah, and they'll be able to put out some of these things here. Yeah. So go ahead. Go ahead yeah, so um, basically I went to Europe and uh, we stayed in this hotel 
I, when he wanted to go to preach that night, that day, after everything, after I slept the whole night, the morning, he wanted to go preach. He gave me 2,000, 2,000, 3,000 euro to go shopping. That was where I carried the bag that was So before he so, went to do the crusade. Yeah. So the eight thousand dollars. No, that was no, the no. day I was leaving. Okay. Oh, that, that's oh, that's that later. That was the okay. This is later. Oh, wow. But the two, you're saying that the day you guys. He was going for the program. Well, he was okay. not going for the program. So you didn't go to the program with no. him. You went no. shopping instead. Yeah, okay. I went shopping instead. Okay. okay. Yeah, my first time being there, so I wanted to see everywhere. Mm -hmm. So he gave me money to go shopping. I went shopping, and. Um, he came back and um, well we, he told me about the people he was working with so they didn't see me so um because when i'm in the room and they knock they want to talk to him he goes to the door and he just talk to them and come back he didn't let them in mm -hmm. until the, there was a vacancy on the next at the next hotel so me and him went together to get it for me was it in the day at night because his he hides in the day in the day yeah how did two of you mean or manage to hide and go into the? I hospital? went first. Okay. And he met me there. Okay. Was like, oh, I'm coming. <laughs> okay. So, so now, this is what I want people to understand. Okay, I am. This is 2017. It is possible now for someone to go back to this place. A big hotel should have CCTV. Yes. So they can always recall this cctv and know exactly what happened i just want us to take note of some of these things mm -hmm. go ahead so um anyways we stayed for three days going and coming up then after i got the place he comes to meet me at night mm -hmm. he stays all night till morning then he goes you know so after that um i was gonna leave he was gonna leave going to somewhere else he said he had program somewhere else so he gave me 8,000 euro. He said, well, it, um, we're in, to, in the room together. Then he, someone just came and knocked on the door. One of, I think one of his workers. So he was like, wait here. He went there and he collected all the whole money. And he came out and like, here, take. When you say collected all the money, is this the tithe from the church or, or the, no, no, the no, bundle no, or no, the money? No, no, you don't okay. know. Okay. No, 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 you no, say no, he collected no, no. the money. No, so. no, no. Well, okay. because I don't okay. want, I don't, I, I just want okay. to talk. She, he, someone give, he gave you money. Okay. Uh, where okay. the money came from. Okay. Uh, because like I said, <laughs> I'm not after the sensational, okay. the sensation okay. of the, new, the, the story or what. Okay. I just want to be able to give you a point of view. Yeah, and I'm going to be brief about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, after then I left, so I went around, I, I stayed for a while, I went around by myself, you know, shopping, went to see other places. So I came back to Canada, we, we continued talking. If I was talking to, if I had like another guy I was just chatting with, he would know. He would be like, oh, today you've been sh chatting with some guy. The first time I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, no, this is not possible. You know, like whenever I maybe I meet someone new and we're just chatting, he will know. He would know. It's, if I was talking on the phone, he would know that you've been talking on the phone. If I if someone came to visit me, he would know. How then, how, uh, how is this? But I don't understand. How, yeah. how okay you spiritually? No, I, I, no. Yeah, spiritually. Okay, now that's where I I'm gonna. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, that's okay. Uh, but it's okay. It's okay. Like, well, oh, oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not go there. Spirituality? I believe spirituality, but um, I, I, I don't believe in diabolism. In, in, in I don't, I don't spirituality. think it's diabolic. I think you know what I think. Like it, it looks like people that do tarot reading. Mm -hmm. You, it's this is where okay. psychology comes in. Psychology, people can really play with your exactly, mind. It's, exactly, it's about yeah. mind playing. Uh, but that's, but that, you know that, that's the way I look at it. But you know what? I respect. Yeah. I respect your belief. I respect yeah, people's belief. Yeah, it's about I mind my, playing. I, 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 yeah, I have things. I I don't. But well, it's well, not, it's he not tried my to cause. Kill me, I would call him diabolic. Yeah, it, 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 that's really where I want to get yeah. into because this is the story that is mostly on the social media yeah. about you stooling blood, yeah. about you being so pregnant. So how that happened, and, yeah, I told him I was pregnant. After and, how long? Yeah, after um, the, I, um, June, July, August. Okay, August. sorry to, to cut in here. 
you went to see him August. in Rome, right? And that was in August. No, that was in June. That was in June. So where else did you meet him after after we June? We met in Nigeria. Okay, you flew to Nigeria to go and make, meet him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's all I want to clarify. That's what I want the audience to uh, to clarify. Okay. Oh, so it wasn't just the meeting in June. Yeah, that... we met again August. Oh, August. August. Okay. So, After three months. Yeah. Okay. June, July. It was less than two months. Right? Okay. So, I went to uh, August. He invited me when I saw Ted. I was pregnant I, because I did all these things myself. And I was excited because it was all, you know, like how so you someone just got you under them. Like I don't know how to explain it. Every. Control. Yeah. Uh, control. Okay. Let me. Ask I just you. really wanted. Let me. Let me ask this question. You have a lawyer. And now I have. Now you have a lawyer, mm -hmm. and I'm careful. I don't want to say things that would jeopardize your case, so I'm very careful about that. But you have to forgive me for. I think I'm. I'm representing the people who are watching, who will be wanting an opportunity to talk to you. So I'm wondering, how did you know you were pregnant? I did test. You did it. Oh, you I did. did. Okay, you, you got the kits by yourself. Yeah. Oh. No, no, this is woman. Period. Woman knows when a woman, yeah. woman should know when she she's pregnant. pregnant. So don't even go there. Yeah. <laughs> so, but there's another clarification that I want to get here. You went to meet him in June. Mm -hmm. You went back again in July. Mm -hmm. So when did you notice that you were pregnant? August. Was it August? Yeah. So you went in June, you went in uh, August, 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 right? Okay. Yeah. So, okay, go ahead. Then so, I missed the period. Yeah, mm. after I missed, because he was all, let's do this, let's have kids, let's, you know, he talks to me every second, like, I stay home 24 7 for him. Where I, is home? When I you have stay a home? place in Brampton. Okay okay, 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 okay. You have a place. Yeah, I had. Okay, here, okay. Here, 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 okay. Yes, okay. here, here in Canada. Yes, here in Canada. Okay. You okay. didn't have to work because. You because the money was flowing in. Yeah. 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 If I'm in that shoes, I wouldn't work as well. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 Eight thousand euro. Eight thousand euro to this. We're talking about ten thousand euro in under two months, right? Yeah. So ten thousand euro is. Uh, close to twenty thousand dollars, and twenty thousand dollars in two months is how much in naira? Who is uh, good mathematician? Uh, That's uh, like twenty million naira or more. Okay, we, we won't we'll go there. Go okay, there. okay, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> so you told him you were pregnant. Yeah, I told him I was pregnant. Mm -hmm. So then he invited me to. Like, I I thought he was excited. You know, mm -hmm. before then there was all this. He knows everything I do, kind of. Mm -hmm. I I always call him and be like, "Yo, I see you." What do you call him? Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I see you, my dream of like because I trusted him and I took him. Like I thought God had brought someone to actually put me on the right way. You know. And you've never been to his house. Like this is the second time you're going to Nigeria. Yeah. You've never really been inside his compound. No, I never been to his house before. Okay. He puts you in a hotel waiting for the for the wife to <laughs> to, to do but can I before we digress so much, you see, when you wanted to from your story, okay, yeah. uh when you wanted to reach out to him, you went seeking advice about the relationship that you were in. Yeah. Right? So you had to break that relationship? You you had to break Because I couldn't even be with anybody without him knowing. Uh, well, that was what you thought. That's that what, was what I thought. That was what you thought. That was no, no, no. You knew on. that somebody was following you, like he knows every move no, you because, make. No, and he's not, a man of God. That's what I'm saying. He sees vision. He sees vision. He sees vision and he's higher than the person you okay, are probably okay, okay, seeing. Okay, I understand. So that's, that made me like trust. I trusted him more, you know? No, well, you know, you, know, you know the point I was going to get to? I was going to get to that. Before you met him, like you, what kind of a Christian were you? Were you born again or no? You were not that strong. Well, I wasn't that not strong. You wasn't that strong. Okay, yeah. now when you were with him, did he did he try to get you like born again, feel with the Holy Spirit mm. together? He tells me that he prays for me. But you guys never time. really prayed together. No, but he tells me that he prays for me all the time. Oh, okay. 
because okay there's no room for prayer so okay. when you two are together so yeah you, so if no you are watching you can imagine that okay, okay no okay. there's no room for prayer okay. okay even when he's falling asleep he wants to do it so like yeah he... okay 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 that's the part that i don't want to get into no 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 i'm so sorry this is we're getting down to the root of this i'm so sorry no 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 give no 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 it's like you're throwing things out there for the public to catch and then you're concealing some of them no 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 like you don't because because you don't want to be okay let me talk about sex okay right excuse me can i handle that this is my no no this is your area this is my area this is my interview this is my interview okay okay let me do something i'll give you a break let me let me tell you something i need to establish something right um, this is your story. Yeah. I, I have not been able to. I'm hoping one day I'll be get, I'll be I'll get a chance to talk with the the apostle Suleiman, but I I've, I've not been able to talk to him. I'm hearing the story. You always need to hear two sides of the story. So mm -hmm. I respect you and I respect him. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you before all this, <laughs> I used to have, and I I still do as far as that is concerned. I have a lot of respect for Pastor for Apostle. Um, Justin Suleiman, I'll tell you why. Because in the midst of all the Fulani headsmen crisis, he was the pastor that stood his ground to, and that, that's another point I was going to get to when we when we get as we as we as we go along with our interview. So as far as that is concerned, I respect what he did. I, I was rooting for him. We were praying for him when he was invited. So I still want to um to 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 reserve that respect that i have for him as a man of god so that's why i, I you are free to say to, to say your story it does not yeah, so still, it, it still so it still doesn't justify it does not give anybody a right even with with with, with, with however i respect them if what you're saying is true it does not give anybody a right to treat anybody the way you have been treated and that's why we're having this interview. So I need to balance this. That's why when I say I'm just trying to be decent. That's what I'm saying. And then uh, in quotes, yeah. I'm not I think <laughs> Katia Valino says it all. Okay, you say you say that all. this is her interview. Okay. Just because when she tr she tried to bring it up, you tell yeah. her that you don't. No, want no, no. It. It's okay. Can you please give her give like her the room okay. to express but, but, herself? But, but, okay. But Stephanie, yeah. I hope you understand. I mean, I, I'm yeah. not muzzling you. But I'm just saying. Yeah, you pour it out the way yeah, you okay, want. Yeah, okay, okay, go ahead. Your interview, it's it's, ahead, it's, ahead, it's, okay. your, it's it's all about you okay, now. No problem. When you interview Suleiman, Pastor Apostle Suleiman, yeah. you guys can you can hear from him as well. But okay. let's hear from okay. Stephanie right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So he invited me over to Nigeria. I I was excited. I ran to Nigeria to meet him. So I would. He we was supposed to meet at Pruti. He said meet me at Pruti Hotel. And Keja. Keja, yeah. Okay. So it's at 6 p.m. sharp. I said, okay. I was on my way. I was like 10 minutes away, you know, Lagos traffic and mm -hmm. everything. But you know, it's funny. Sorry, I'm cutting you short. If, if, if everybody who knows this story hears her talk about says something like 6 p.m. Say it's 6 p.m. These are very detailed um, story. story. And I, I really hope it ministers to somebody who is listening to this and they were really involved. I really hope it means because for me, when you say things like meet me at 6 p.m., I'm, I'm like, I, it sounds so much, it sounds very believable. But go ahead. Sorry. I just have and to he was like, oh, okay. Um, he called me around 6 p.m. sharp. He said, are you there? I said, no, I'm not there. He was like, okay, don't come anymore. You got pissed. I said, okay, I'm 10 minutes away. I try to apologize. He said, no, 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 don't come no more. Like he had a plan and I just like ruined the plan. I said, well, I'm 10 minutes away. What's going on? He said, don't come anymore. I keep the time, blah, blah, blah. And you were pregnant. Yeah. Okay. Then he said, um, it's over. So I'm like, okay, so I fought, I started crying, like, 
we fought on the phone so I went back I'm like I told my friend Karimi that you see I came all the way From now Canada. he's saying it's over so I was just pissed a little bit then um, who was your friend that was in the car with you it was a friend in Lagos his name is Lekom Mr. Lekom Mr. Lekom yeah since all this started have you been in touch with him no I haven't he tried to contact me on uh, BBM but he tried to contact you yeah but I just didn't want to I didn't know how many people I want to get involved okay, okay no problem okay. no problem it's okay yeah this it's is him Okay, his picture was, was here. No, that's not Like, this is a lot of people. This is the person. Okay. He was just trying to contact me, telling me to okay. call him. Okay, no so problem, no problem. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So, okay. um, I didn't want to get people in. Yeah, yeah, it's mm -hmm. okay, I understand. And I don't want to be a PD party to anybody. To yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if anybody feels like coming up. Yeah, to, you can imagine. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Let's, let, me, let me say this. Let me say this. If you if you know that there's a part of this story that you know is true and you are part of this and instead of coming up with your story to be able to help her and you're just doing like self-preservation you're keeping it back and you're seeing her out there being being uh, accused, accused and, wrongly, and maltreated and intimidated and you are just there watching it I hope to be able to just put something out there in support of her if you know what is truth we're all about the truth because our family yes if you think she's telling a lie go out there and say it's a lie i was there stephanie what you're saying is a lie on this this this, this. go ahead and do it i've not seen people doing that if mm -hmm. you think she's and she's calling if she's calling the times and specific she's being specific about times about periods about events People are just running away. They are hiding. That's not fair. It's not fair. You never know when it will be your turn and you need somebody to speak out for you. I'm just making this appeal. If you know that you, you know anything about this story that would help this young lady to be able to prove her point, whatever it is, I mean, just set your heart and be able to do that. Just, just say what you know. Yeah, so... Um after a couple of days, I texted him, so we started talking and he was like, oh, are you broke? Do you need money? That's why you're texting. So I said no. So we talked, we fought a little bit and we started talking. Then he said I should meet him at, um, I should go take a hotel and wait for him. So that was on, on a Monday. So because of what happened the previous day, I was in Benin. I had to take a flight to Lagos a day before. So I can wait for you. So no excuse of time. So you won't be late. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I had to take. A f I went to Lagos, and I close to an airport was hell. There is a new hotel after the gas station. There's a road, like this is the gas station. Before the gas station, there's a road. Mm -hmm. Then put up what to taste at the next side after the gas station so there's a road before i was going to a port hotel but someone come the taxi man convinced me that there was a new hotel don't worry don't pay too mm. much no everything so i said okay so i went to the new hotel so i waited for him the next morning he came right he came to me so um well in between i went i met him on this church in between before i met him again at the hotel I went to his church to meet him in his office, me and my mom and my younger sister and my in-law. We all went to this church, he gave us money and a drink, a wine. So, but that was even one-on-one, -on -one, me and him. So afterwards, that was when we met at a hotel. So he came the next day, he didn't keep the time. He said he was going to keep the time. He came about 11 a.m. So he said I was going to be there at 7. So he came around 11 a.m. And he came with a drink called, he said, is it like Bloody Mary or something? He says that's the only drink he likes to drink, that he doesn't drink a lot, he doesn't like drink alcohol. I said, okay. So he gave it to me and he ordered for pepper soup, um, gold pepper soup that day. So I got distracted. I didn't see him drinking it. But I, because I trust him and he was eating and didn't really disturb him. So he invited me to eat, I said no. So I was just drinking and we 
did everything sex and everything then he gave me three different kinds of money three currencies things that have currencies gave me european currency he gave me nigerian currency and american currency i'm like but we are in Nigeria now. What's all this demo for? Or oh, before then, I had to pick the money out of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> but sorry to, to throw you back or to take this from you. You went to meet this man of God with your mom. What did you tell your mom that this man of God was to you? Well, um, I told my mom that he's helping me. That he's helping you? Yeah. That's all you told your mom? That would, like, that's why I'm dating him. Okay, so your mom knows that you are dating him. Yeah. And you told your mom that he wants to marry you? Yeah, that he wants to meet, like, he wants to come okay. into the family. Okay. So my mom said, okay, that he would like to meet him. Okay. So we all went together. Okay. So you went to meet him with your mom? Yeah. In the office. And he saw your mom? Yeah. Because, you know, at the church, when your mom came to the church, I'm just trying to understand, he said, I've never met you before. If you watch that program, yeah, he had said, "Madam, I've never—I don't know you. I've never met you before." Well, yeah, you would say so. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. I just—I just, I just wanted mm -hmm. to, to clarify. To, to clarify to this, yeah, yeah, yeah because that. So he met your mom. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. I gave us money. So um, even that day, we had a, pro a problem going back. Because that it was sanitation day or something, mm -hmm. so they were disturbing the. He he was like we should wait, we shouldn't go, because it was sanitation. But I'm like, oh my mom lives in Nigeria, my mom would know when the road is free mm -hmm. or not. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, my mom says we should go, so I'm going. But then they started disturbing us on the road, and so I had to call. Them. So 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 let's clarify. So this is that meeting that um, people are saying is the 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 bride price. Is yeah. That, okay. Well, it would. I. It was like an, I introduced my mom to him. To him, and okay. he gave. He gave you people money. Money, okay. money. Okay. You know. You know why. You know why. Why this is important because what I've heard is that you know. What you uh, watched in the video in the YouTube. Yeah. Right? What I've heard people say, and um, I, I, I hear some. I don't hear. I don't. But generally, so in summary, is that um, you, you claim that uh, he. Paid your, my dad. Your, 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 he came and met your family. He came and met your family and did introduction and give them money. No, he wouldn't do that based on his personality. Exactly. So, so that's what that's why the story has never really clicked to me. That I don't think that no, he would go. That, and, no, so no, this was I, this was the meeting. Even my mom wouldn't agree that it's uh, exactly because exactly. she was like. Um, a woman doesn't do that. Yeah, you know, where yeah. She came yeah. From. Okay, so you're. But so, so you know, like he's a priest. Like anybody hears about that, they anything he says, I that won't go. I, I just wanted to clear that part. This was that meeting with your yeah. mom. Okay, go on. Well, all of this started because of bridge of marriage. Because I had a place, I had a house on my own. He made me give it back. So, like, I lose my house, my car. He used me, and he even tried to kill me. No, so, this, this is the legal part of it because, see, my dear, you are the, say, he who wears the, the shoe the knows shoe. where it pinches. You have a legal case, you have lawyers, and you would pursue it to whatever extent. Yeah. What I'm trying to do is that, you know, stories, people know how to yeah. paint stories. Yeah. Okay? So it's important. and. Don't be afraid to just tell your story simply the way it yeah. is. Mm -hmm. So it's it's good we just clarified it that mm -hmm. way. I mean, and if people hear people hear you say it, okay? So go So on. we um after no, no, he gave you drinks. Man, yeah, after he, he was eating. So because usually every day I have to beg him to eat, he can't eat, I don't know why. He's always worried. So. Fasting? No, it's not fasting, it just says his he doesn't have appetite. You know when someone can't eat yeah, because he's yeah. not like they're depressed mm -hmm, or something. Mm -hmm. So I used to ask him, "Are you okay? Um, is anything bothering you?" He goes, "Apart from you, there's nothing bothering me." Well, I think that was a joke. So it he, he didn't tell me anything. But I know that all the time I have to call him and beg him to eat. He tells me to talk him to eat, so I talk him to eat. 
yeah so I, I was talking to him to eat also so he was eating and was drinking this thing so as soon as he left I started feeling funny I was feeling funny I had to go get a bottle of water I prayed on the bottle of water and I drank it my stomach just started turning me my eyes were turning me it was like I couldn't hold myself I had to I went to the toilet and I just like downloaded a lot of water um, inside the toilet mm -hmm. a lot a whole lot and I was so scared I called my mom I said I'm still in blood and this is like I've never seen it before my mom said oh, does your mom know you're pregnant no she okay know okay anytime. but okay. you you called her, so your mom will remember that you called her and told her that I was too blood. Blood. Yes. in blood. Yes. No mother will forget yes. that experience. Then she said, Oh, maybe it's dysentery because they're not used to the food from okay. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. she, she was able to convince me. I mm -hmm. called another one, my girlfriend uh, called Gladys. I called her. I'm like, I'm still in blood and my head is turning me. I don't know what's going on with me. And Gladys is still there. Gladys is still there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, it's okay. Go ahead. Then he said, um, so she's like, I just said, please be on the phone with me because I was scared I was going to lose. You, you were alone in yeah, the hotel. Yeah, yeah I was mm -hmm. thinking that I was going to lose myself because I was feeling like I was going to lose myself. Mm -hmm. So I said, just keep talking to me, keep talking to me. So she was talking to me, talking to me. And um, she, even Gladys, knows about me and Apostle Suleiman because. Um, all this while we're talking me and Suleiman before I came to Nigeria, he was bugging me about threesome. Mm -hmm. So that was my problem with him. I'm like, if you want to really marry me, why are you asking for threesome with me? That I, I can't let it if you really want to marry be you. with me. You can't be, I can't let you sleep with any of my friends. It's not mm -hmm. going to be special between you and mm -hmm. me. So, and moreover, I didn't, even in Europe, he made me went online and start searching out girls, call girls. Wow. Yeah, I was going and I, because I, I, I don't like to share. <laughs> so I was so jealous about it and I could, I didn't let it. I was just like acting like I wanted to. So I know he likes girls with big boobs, big ass and light skin girls. So I, I show him black girls, I show him skinny girls. Mm -hmm. I said, do you like this one? He said, no. When I showed him like three, he was not embarrassed. He was like, okay, okay, let's forget about it. Let's forget about it. I said, oh, okay, if you want to, let's forget about it. <laughs> so I didn't want him to go with it. Then I, I, I told him, I'm like, okay, um, this is my friend Gladys. She lives in Nigeria. I said, okay, maybe you can bring Gladys over to Canada. Then we can all put all of us at three. Do so, it in Canada. Yeah, in mm -hmm. Canada. I wanted him to help me bring my friend to Canada. Mm -hmm. He said, Really? Okay, tell Gladys I'm going to bring Gladys to Canada. So I told Gladys. So Gladys knows about me and him. Because even if. Did she finally come to Canada? No, no, no. Okay. Well, all this stuff, because he started breaking up with me when he was oh, trying to kill me. Okay. It, when I was in Nigeria, he was always texting me, It's over. I'm like, You invited me to Nigeria. Why are you telling me it's over now? You know? You saw him skyping with me two thousand sixteen. Just when I was. I just Nigeria, wish that this phone, up. phone information. Like ah, I wish you could just get that the lawyers so. will be able to get they all will. those texts. They will. Yeah. Don't worry. They so will. you can have a better case. They will. They yeah. Will. They will. Mm -hmm. So I, I gave um. So, I got, I was talking to Gladys, and after that, I I got myself a little. I stayed again for another day just to really get myself because I really did you call him after uh, you were I was blood? talking to him because you called your yeah, mom I did called, you call him I called him and called he said him. he was uh, he was even at the airport he was like he stay, he's been at the airport for the past five hours that his wife and kids went to Ghana and they were supposed to come like five hours ago by the um, delayed because of the weather mm -hmm. that they had for the problem that he was scared so i'm like yeah but i'm just doing blood mm -hmm. he was like really so he said uh who did i tell who did i call i said i told my mom and my mom said maybe it's this entry mm -hmm. then he said okay i should tell the hotel that their food is bad so i called the hotel that the food is bad and they went to buy me some pills so i stayed for a while i said the next day i was still there just to get myself 
before I left. After my friend was talking to me until I got better and the next day I left the hotel and um, yeah, so he, we started fighting on the phone, it's over and um, I, I was still in blood, the blood wasn't stopping, it was a lot, I was scared so I ran to my dad in Abuja. So I even have some pictures I took that period in Abuja. Mm -hmm. I have them in my family. Mm -hmm. My dad introduced his one of his son to me, like godly son. Mm -hmm. So he's my dad is a pastor in Abuja. So he Oh your dad is a pastor. Yeah. Okay. So he introduced one of his sons to me. I have a picture of I saw it just now. Me and the son took pictures. Mm -hmm. So like they come take me out because I don't go, I don't know anywhere. So sometimes they come around, take me out, like that. So I was with my dad for like almost one month. And even like what then. What did your dad, what, how much of this did your dad know? He didn't know. Oh, I, was, he did, he didn't my, know I didn't tell him I was pregnant, but he's, when he was, one day he was did pregnant you know for you were me. Dating? He didn't know when I was, but when I was still in blood, I was scared. You I told know. him? I told him everything. You told him? Yeah. I